Mr. Clown here from Clown Maths. Today we're going to be looking at how to determine the equation of a parabola. Last lesson we looked at how to sketch a parabola given its equation, so it's kind of the opposite of that. If we've got a parabola with roots x equals a and x equals b, as shown on the graph here, you can see a and b is where it cuts the x-axis, then the equation is just simply going to be k times x minus a, x minus b. This is its factorised form, where k is just some constant, some number. And what we're going to look at is, how do we find this k? Well, we can do that if we're given some other point on the parabola. I'm just going to go into a couple of examples straight away. Okay, example one says a parabola passes through the points 1, 0, 5, 0 and 0, 3. Find the equation of the parabola. Step one for this will always be the same. We'll try and draw a little sketch of a parabola if it's not given to us, and that will show us some of the points and make it easy to see what's happening. So if I draw a simple sketch, we have got a long 1 up 0, we have got a long 5 up 0, so those are our roots, and the extra point is given us is a long 0 up 3. So our parabola maybe looks something like this. So from the previous slide, we know that if we had the equation of parabola, it would be y equals k times x minus a, x minus b. And a and b are just the roots, remember, so there's a and there's b. So the equation of this parabola is y equals k times x minus 1, x minus 5. And the problem is, we don't know what k is, it could be any number. We can get times by a constant, it just stretches the graph up. But we are given one other point in the graph, and that is the point 0, 3. So if we substitute 0, 3 into this equation, we will be able to work out k. We're using the factor of 0, 3. In other words, x equals 0, y equals 3. We get 3 equals k times 0 minus 1. 0 minus 5, 3 equals, well that's minus 1 times minus 5, which is 5, 5k. So k is simply the number 3 fifths. So we just substitute that back into our equation, and we have got the equation of the parabola. So the final answer is y equals 3. X minus one, X minus five. And we're done. Example two. Find the equation of a parabola in the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c that passes through minus two zero, four zero, and zero minus sixteen. If you're using the HSN higher notes, this comes from that, so you might want to have a look at that now if you want. And we'll start, as per usual, by drawing an equation. Drawing up a level, even. So, a little sketch. Y and X axis. We have got minus 2, 0. We have got 4, 0, so there's our roots. And 0, minus 16 down there somewhere. So we know that our parabola is going to look something like this. Where that's A, that's B. So starting off the same way, Y equals K, X minus A, X minus B, because A and B are roots. So Y must equal K, X, plus 2, x, minus 4. Notice it's turned to plus because it's minus, minus 2, which is plus 2. Now, same again as last time, using the point, 0, minus 16. And x is 0, y is negative 16. We'll substitute this in. So we get minus 16 equals k, 0, plus 2, times 0, minus 4. Minus 16 must equal, well, 2 times minus 4 is negative 8, so negative 8k, which implies that k must equal 2. Almost done. 
So we now know the equation is y equals 2 times x plus 2 x minus 4. But the original question wants it in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So it's just asking us to multiply out the bracket and get it looking like a standard quadratic. So doing that, x times x is x squared. So I've got 2x squared minus 4x plus 2x is minus 2x times another 2 is negative 4x and 2 times 4 is 8 negative 8 times 2 is negative 16 ax squared plus bx plus c and we're done okay example 3 Find the equation of the parabola shown. Again, this is from the HSN notes. Nicely drawn for us this time, so we don't have to draw it. We just have to identify it. Start off the same way. Y must equal k x minus a x minus b. But in this case, a and b are the same because the turning point is the root. So y must be k x minus 5 squared x minus 5 times x minus 5 and the point we can use is this 1 6 so x would equal 1 y would equal 6 we'll substitute that in 6 would equal k times 1 minus 5 squared so 6 equals well 1 minus 5 is negative 4 when you square that you get 16 16 k that implies that k must be 6 over 16, which we can simplify down to 3 eighths. We've now got our equation. y equals 3 eighths. x minus 5 all squared. 3 eighths of x minus 5 squared. So the last example, find the equation of the parabola shown. Notice this time there's no actual roots, it doesn't cross the x-axis. So instead we're going to complete the square, because we're given the turning point. So we can use completing the square to find the equation of that parabola. Remember from national 5, y must equal a x minus 4 squared, take away 2, because we've got minus 2 here. We've got 4. 4 minus 2 is the turning point. So we can substitute in our other point to get a, or this could be called k. We've got the point 0 minus 7. So that's my x and that's my y. So minus 7 must equal a 0 minus 4 squared minus 2. Minus 7 equals, well, 4 fours is 60. 16a take away 2. 16a then must be negative 5 and a must be negative 5 over 16. Which is what we would expect in terms of the sign because it's negative, it's upside down. So the final answer which we'll write in red up here is y equals minus 5 over 16 x minus 4 squared minus 2 and we're done just remember that if you're given the turning point you can always use completing the square with a coefficient outside of the, the bracket and find what that coefficient is at constant term this has been Claire Masses today we've been looking at how to determine the equation of a parabola given some points of the parabola or even given the picture